Um, my name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing. I thank you for joining us today. We are presenting today for about 50 to 60 minutes a carrier of choice that you need in your portfolio of products if you're doing business in the Medicare arena in the state of Texas. And that is with our friends over at Baylor Scott and White. We'll be going through a presentation that pertains to uh, the systems they have in play, the 2021 benefits. Can't talk 2022 yet, that'll be coming. Um, but the presentation is being recorded and the recording will be sent to everyone who has expressed interest in today's presentation. But we'll also be set up on our website at premiersmi.com, a link in our learning center and will be on our YouTube channel as well. You will see on the software that you use to access the presentation, a section for both questions and chat. I know this might be really remedial, but we ask you to use the question section. Put those in there. You're muted throughout the course of the presentation to prevent background noise. But we want to make certain that we address any questions that you have and make certain that you have the answers you need to present these programs in a manner that benefits not only yourself, but your prospects and clients and do so compliantly. Um, the presentation and much of the information that we ask uh, or, or talk about today will be sent in an email follow-up as well. So watch for that. What I'd like to do now is basically give you a little bit of level set as to who Premier Marketing is. We're one of the largest organizations of our type. We're a national marketing organization founded in 1968. That's part of the integrity marketing platform with offices across the country. We act as an insurance services wholesaler working through independent insurance agents such as yourself, offering contracts at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. And we do so through a full portfolio of products. We just finished a webinar on why Premier I'm going to send a link to do that as part of the presentation as well. But it covers the basic Medicare programs, the Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement plans, the Part D prescription drug programs, PDP programs, but also life insurance and annuity products, final expense life insurance, pre-need plans, long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and the ancillary benefits that address specific needs, such as dental vision hearing programs, critical illness cancer plans, and hospital indemnity, accident programs, and we even introduced the, the telehealth program a couple of months ago, MD Live. When you look at the Medicare Advantage programs we have, the national carriers are there for you through our organization, but also the strong regionals that come into play, such as Baylor, Scott & White, that can make a difference for you in your market. And that same philosophy carries over into the standalone prescription drug programs. You'll note that all of these programs, save one, are all part of the same contract that you take out for the Medicare Advantage plans. Sometimes they're offered as a standalone, sometimes they're not. Um, but we have that available for you for folks that need that help, particularly when they're taking out a MedSup program. Full portfolio of products there are very extensive. We have marketing programs that help you address the Medicare population across the board, no matter what their income is, no matter what their health circumstances are, because sometimes we need to add in these ancillary products where the national carriers are available for you in each of the categories, but also because you have a large market. You have a, well, the, the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day. If you're looking at the Medicare population based on age only, that's very true. But keep in mind, circumstances have changed over the last period of time, year and a half particularly, and you see some people that are working past the age of 65, even though they may be eligible for Medicare now or at that time, they may defer those benefits for one reason or another, but also uh, for any other circumstance, or they're working past the age of 65, so that number may not be as large as the demographic suggests, but particularly when we speak of Medicare Advantage, you have that population that are accessing Medicare benefits because of medical disability at 15% that qualify for Medicare because of medical disability. They more than make up for that portion that are deferring the benefits, but it's also a section that really needs our help. And you'll see, unlike some of the Medicare supplement programs, 
this gives them access regardless of their age. They have the same benefit portfolio as anyone else, where in most states, the under 65 population for the med subs, well, it's limited in choice and it's pretty expensive. This is an awesome way of taking care of it because we need to. The population, two thirds of them have three plus chronic conditions. And many of them have challenges with their income and assets as well. So we need to make available to them a portfolio that will help them regardless of the choice of them, what they make for their Medicare coverages. Because keep in mind, heck, they can decline the, the optional Part B coverage with Medicare if they chose to do so. Most don't, thankfully. But many of those folks will self-insure for the medical portion of their expenses by what is not covered by original Medicare. We have a webinar on that, by the way. Some will pick up a standalone Part D program to help with the drug costs because, hey, I'm healthy, but I'm taking certain medications. Well, I need help with that. So sometimes they'll do that or they'll pick up a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement and carry over uh, the deferment of those costs to that program and pick up a standalone Part D. Or as we'll discuss today, they may be part of the American pickers mentality and they're bundling. They're putting all their benefits under the auspices of a private insurance company in a Medicare Advantage program, otherwise known as Part C. So we wanna make certain that we can cover them across the spectrum and we're prepared to do so. If you remember back on the slide when it talks to income, sometimes first choice may be unaffordable, uh, unaffordable, whatever the word may be, I'm be butchering the English language here, but we wanna make certain that we take care of them. And in specific markets, we have the programs they need the ones that are important for them. Because it's pretty even split when they first come on Medicare, if they're aging in or late to Medicare seniors, whatever it happens to be, choices are pretty even. And then we see that section that says original Medicare only. Excuse me. That may include folks that don't take out any other coverage because they're a dual beneficiary. They have Medicare and Medicaid and are handling the expenses that way. Or they may have retirement benefits from uh, an employer, a past employer that gives them coverage. Hey, they may be accessing benefits through the VA. Veterans Administration has its pros and cons as well. And this does include the people who, as in the words of an old manager I had with Prudential long ago, it says the decision to make a decision is a decision. Sometimes they didn't make a decision and that was their decision. So we need to help the people across the board in order to do that. And to do so, we need to speak the language. Every part of our society has a sub-language. And in the Medicare world, it's so easy to get caught up in the use of acronyms. SEP, AEP, M-O-U-S-E, M-I-C-K-Y, whatever, I did that one backwards. But this guide will come to you as a link in the follow-up and it will give you access through the Medicare Learning Network that's put out by the government, great program, with some information that can help you translate the benefits that people have and what they're looking at because frankly it's confusing and so many of them make the decision to not make a decision and have made a decision. Kaiser Family Foundation tells us that the majority of people on Medicare do not review or compare their coverages annually. What's that mean for us right now? Well because of the different special election periods that are available we can help them now. And we have an obligation as independent insurance agents to do so. And this tells us that folks really need our help. And it's particularly helpful with the share of the Medicare beneficiaries that are particularly vulnerable because they are not comparing their coverages because they choose not to do so or procrastinate or for whatever reason there is. And even if they do, they have a challenge understanding it. So that acronym guide and our translation can be very, very important to them because they're not using the government resources. So do we have additional tools that can help us relay that information? And I feel we do, we'll have that as part of the presentation later. Because hey, that Medicare and you book, you know, they everybody gets one that's on Medicare every October. They may be getting it in the old paper fashion mailed to them, or they may have opted into an e-handbook so they get it electronically. They got information available on apps through the government, and through different pieces they put out to explain that. But look at this particular video that the government has put together. It's, well, as you can see, three and a half minutes long, really well done, put out in 2015, April. 
and it has less than a million views. When you have 60 million people or so on Medicare, that tells you that folks aren't accessing the information that's available to them. You can be that source of truth for folks on Medicare. And you need to be able to deliver it either face-to-face -face or virtually. So do we have systems in play with our carrier partners? Is your hierarchy, is your contracting upline supplying you help in order to do so? Because it may be a combination of the two. The first appointment may be face-to-face -face, and you can do an enrollment electronically thereafter if you're not closing on the first sale. The ability to pivot in this circumstance can really make a huge difference as to how successful our enrollment programs are throughout the year and particularly in time periods where the marketing is much more hectic like in an EP. So we want to make certain that's available to you because hey, particularly over the last year and a half, we've trained people to do this, not just us as insurance agents, by the people that are delivering the care. So I've had 10 appointments now with a particular doctor over the last 18 months where it wasn't until the 10th one that I actually saw how tiny the dude was because face-to-face is a different perception as to, okay, here's your face on a screen. Everything was telehealth up at that point in time. Doctors, specialists are doing it. You have hospitals that are utilizing these systems to do a lot of the prep work. Dentists are doing it. Other factions of our society as well. For the longest time, uh, participation with our faith communities was all done online. Some of them are continuing to do so, but this entire process is helping us make the population we deal with much more proficient in the use of electronic means, much more comfortable with it, and in many circumstances, folks have gone to prefer it, and in many agents in the same as well. So at this point in time, you finally get me to shut up, and we introduce our friends with Baylor, Scott, and White, and ask them to come on and visit with us about the programs that they offer in the great state of Texas. And here's our panel of presenters with Scott and White. At this point in time, um, I'd like for them to, uh, here we go. Chris, I am sending control over to you. Have them introduce themselves and roll through some information for us. So on the screen, you're seeing my lovely visage and I'm showing, ooh, past presenters. Sorry, I didn't change that. There we go. Chris, you have the helm. All right, thanks, John. Appreciate the intro. And let me know when you're able to see looking for a better plan on your screen. Perfect. You might change right. your view. We you see the slides on the left. Put it to a uh, reading view or whatever. But or however, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Presentation mode. It's uh, it's been a little while in terms of, of working with new brokers, new agents coming onto the plan or product itself. But I think we're going to work out some some decent cobwebs here over the past two weeks. Now, that being said, my name is Chris Iona. I'm the manager of Medicare and Individual Sales with Baylor Scott and White, Scott and White Health Plan. And um, I interface directly with our FMOs, our agency partners out in the community, and also work to help provide and direct opportunity within our organization as it relates to sales folks. Um, one thing that's unique about our plan is that we are one of the few in the state of Texas that is owned and operated by the largest not-for-profit healthcare system in the state. Um, with Scott and White Health Plan, you're getting 116 years worth of knowledge in the Texas market as to what kind of issues and challenges our folks deal with from a patient perspective, as well as a provider and an agent in this case perspective. So we're very local, we're very homegrown, and we have a good finger on the pulse as a regional carrier here in the state. Um, what I'd like to do today for today's presentation, we've got about 45 minutes to cover two products. It can go very fast as well as to introduce some of the history of our organization and what really sets us apart compared to other insurance carriers in the state. The first part of this, the presentation will cover the history of Baylor Scott & White, the integration with Scott & White Health Plan, what that means from a patient perspective, and then I'll relate and equate some of those points to what does that mean to us in terms of sales representatives for in the form of value. Why partnership with Scott & White is something valuable and what it will do for you and your book of business as you grow into the future. I'll also introduce my um, senior broker representative, Laura Cruz-Smith, as we get closer to the Medicare product, and I'll turn it over to her. 
So today I'd love to cover the welcome and better together, really the direction of our organization as well as the core message and delivery of our organization to the state of Texas, how that transitions into our product line, how it transitioned into product line development. Our benefits are really a result of a collaborative effort between our health plan and our hospital system and measurement of data in real time to actually understand what our patients are going through and how we can adjust the health plan to meet the needs of our market a little better. We'll also touch on COVID. Uh, our organization is setting national trends in the form of innovation in healthcare. Safe Choice was a program that was designed and developed by Baylor Scott and White, and it's now, or at least components of it, are now being introduced nationally as part of a program to educate providers on the front lines of how to treat a disease during a pandemic and do so in a safe manner with better than average statistics. All right, that said, I'm gonna jump right in. One of the biggest issues that we've found in healthcare as of the past decade is that you have three aspects of healthcare that are constantly being measured and managed. You have accessibility, you have cost, and then you have the coverage. You can only in any given setting manage two of those three legs of a tripod. If you have great access, wide access points, large doctors networks, and you have an affordable plan, what you'll generally uh, find in that scenario is that cost is um, cost and coverage are going to be affected. You'll see that coverage amounts may be a little bit different, um, but that's just a quick example of how the three pillars kind of work together when we're talking about an insurance company. A few points that distinguish us from our competition is that we are working direct hand in hand with the data that's experienced by the hospital system. So we have a system-wide collaboration effort that consists of more than 100 locations across the state, more than 17,000 providers across the state that provide information in real time as to what our markets are dealing with. As we gather that data and we collect it, it helps us deliver a better healthcare model in which we can actually increase the outcomes of our patients. That is done hand in hand with the health plan and the, the hospital system working together. In today's world, we've noticed that everything is moving towards digital. Our hospital system and our health plan have worked together to design one of the, the most technological advanced hospital systems in the state right now in the form of how actual patient circumstances are captured at the point of evaluation or medical services, all the way to how do we transmit that, that information while observing PHI and HIPAA laws, as well as standard firewalls between hospital system and, and healthcare um, plans, how do we access that information and then incorporate it into our plan benefits? That's where our digital innovation comes in. The amount of patient flow using our application that will help navigate through, and we'll get into this a little bit later, help navigate through our system has now surpassed um, any other hospital system in the nation by at least four times. So what we see is through that digital innovation, we're able to capture data better in real time, transmit and communicate with our health plan. Health plan is able to adjust within a year to better serve the market. All right, bear with me, I'm trying to get it to change slides. From an employer perspective, we do offer all three lines of business common to each carrier, group, individual, and Medicare. From an employer perspective, our innovation and collaborative effort, our strategy, and the way that we approach healthcare challenges, it overall impacts the employer's total cost of care. We're also able to improve the overall health of an employee population, which as a selling agent helps you come renewal time when negotiations are necessary to come in at a price point that was beneficial for your client. This helps us with flexibility at the point of sale when it comes to group. And then from an overall perspective of health of an organization, ensuring a lot of lives through the group aspect allows the balance in the, the law of large numbers. Um, with our innovation and how we connect with groups and how we do a lot of direct sales with groups, it allows us to offset costs that would otherwise be experienced by individual members 
in ways that are found meaningful throughout the year. This leads to a stable book of business for our brokers. From a membership perspective, once you write a policy with Scott and White and you send them into our system, our entire healthcare delivery integrated care system, what you'll find is that you have multiple teams that are working to advance the healthcare outcomes of these folks at a lower cost while also simultaneously attempting to lower costs. Essentially what that means for an agent is that it's a lot less touch point throughout the year for your member. And again, more stability in that book. The average life of a policyholder on our Medicare plans is 13 years and the average age of induction, meaning the time that we generally get the most amount of in, uh, incoming members is age 72. You combine those two numbers and you're going to find that our number one disenrollment reason is due to, to uh, death. We keep members from cradle to grave and that's the design of our healthcare plan as well as our hospital system and why the collaborative effort. Throughout the member experience, we also have feedback points throughout the month and throughout the year. that We call these folks together to hear feedback as to what pain points they're feeling with our plan and possibly our hospital system. This helps streamlines their experience and it connects them better with their insurance information. One big problem of today's world is the consumer's knowledge about supplemental benefits. It's called benefit literacy. We consistently see folks coming to our plan from plans that offer similar supplemental benefits, but it's due to the fact that the member didn't know their plan offered those types of services or benefits. We find that interesting in terms of disenrollment data and what we look to do different here at Scott and White is to create these touch points so that we can provide a better platform for patient education, member education about their health plan. Folks that use their health plan and know and feel comfortable using their health plan from start to finish through its gamut of offerings, they tend to stick with that health plan throughout the life of their retirement. That's the entire design and goal of Scott and White. You do a partnership with us, you send a patient our way, we're gonna keep them on the books and do the work behind the scenes. That makes you look good as an agent while also lowering their costs and improving their outcomes. From a provider perspective, prefer to work with a lot of providers that provide a holistic view of the patient. And through the collaboration efforts, we're able to incorporate accounting um, features like the social determinants of health, as well as the impact to various uh, SDOHs that may change throughout the year. And we're able to also provide programs that get ahead of those. For example, diabetes management last year with the, uh, the senior savings program, we participate in that where we cap certain insulins at a $35 cost. Furthermore, we maintain communication throughout the year to help those folks evaluate and examine the medications they're on if they're driven towards a higher cost and look for lower cost alternatives and then balance out what the outcome is when prescribed those lower cost alternatives to make sure they're as good as the prescription drug that the person was on when they first came to. And as a result, what we find through medication therapy management and through our various programs within the system, we're able to actually reduce the amount of ed medications that are experienced by our patients. Um, that has had a tremendous effect on people's activity levels, their energy levels, and their ability to get out and really you know, experience and live out their retirement. A lot of folks in our state spend a lot of time with their kids and grandkids. And with travel impacted throughout the past year of the pandemic, that was a big, uh, big thing that we were able to help with is to keep people engaged, teach them ways to keep connected with their social determinants of health. A lot of that part is who we have in our daily life, what responsibilities we have as a result of our relationships, and that impacts people's purpose. Again, the entire idea of our organization is to treat the person from a mental level, spiritual level, and a, a physical level. As a faith-based organization, we accept everybody we do understand um, we may not pray to the same God, but either way, we're going to uh, make sure that we address all of the holistic components of care, including the spiritual aspect. Okay, from an overview perspective, I'm just going to hit this slide real fast. We have 7.4 million unique patient encounters annually. Again, this is only in the state of Texas. We have over 49,000 employees that work the administration aspect of this, as well as our providers, and then 7,500 physicians here in the North Texas area alone. 
this presentation is tailored to our North Texas uh, service area, and it will speak to the North Texas products. If you have interest in our Central Texas corridor, which is where we are definitely strong, um, you'll want to reach out to us after this presentation to get some additional data, and then we'll also get you connected with our Central Texas product portfolio. But overall, what we see is that out of 52 hospitals, 559 specialty care clinics, 202 satellite outpatient clinics, um, we're able to perform a certain level of care and do so from a not-for-profit not standpoint. Our entire goal is to give back to the community. And we collectively, as an organization, give back more than $2.3 million to the Texans, local Texan public here in an effort to keep them engaged and healthy or moving towards healthy. From a county perspective, we exist in 169 of 254. Again, across the state, our providers are 36,000. Facility-wise, we're 4,000 plus, and membership is 357,000 in our Scott and White Health Plan. We are growing rapidly. We are a company that did not have a broker channel as recent as eight years ago. We were a very small health plan based out of Temple, Texas, if you're familiar with the Central Texas region and we were homegrown. As of the merger with Baylor in 2013, we've picked up an additional 28 counties, 6,500 providers, and 703,000 members. We are the number one largest ACO in the state of Texas in setting national trends in healthcare based on our service and delivery. Quick list of our accolades, all of the folks that have um, really kind of evaluated our health plan, some of them being the government organizations and the National Committee for Quality Assurance. We are one of the top rated plans according to the NCQA in the state of Texas. And a lot of this is again around our accountable care organization and integrated care delivery model. Our founder, I mean, I'm sorry, our CEO, Jim Hinton, comes with a, a background of running integrated care systems. Most recently was in charge of the state of New Mexico for the past 20 years and has been with us for about four and a half years now. Um, coincidentally, Jim did really did, did a lot of good things um, over the past four and five years. And uh, he is actually approaching retirement at the end of this year. So Jim will be leaving us and our president, Pete McKenna, will be stepping up to fill his role. And Pete's been with us for about the last eight years as well. So familiar with our history, our pedigree and our impact to our market, and will basically not miss a beat when Jim um, takes his retirement. We do wish him the best. Sounds like it's gonna be a, a fun next 20 years for Jim. Now, as far as our healthcare experience, I'm gonna walk through some quick highlights about what makes us different. With us being a well-established accountable care organization, we plug directly into multiple other networks throughout the state. But an ACO helps provide standards of care that is then shared across the state with other hospital systems. Um, what we find is that in primary and specialty care, we're starting to set trends in how to treat uh, patients in a pandemic setting, as well as how to do this in a more efficient manner with clients through a mixture of telemedicine and virtual visits incorporated with face-to-face. -face. We have dedicated certain wings of our, our locations to be able to cordon off, but yet provide the same amount of service to folks that may be dealing or experiencing COVID um, away from our general population. And again, we're one of the largest vaccination hubs and the number one distributor of vaccines in the state of Texas. In our plan, uh, PCPs do not direct all treatment from a standard or traditional model. Because we are so technologically integrated, all we are the, the only plan accepted by our hospital system that does not have a referral requirement. We are considered open access to all network providers with Baylor Scott and White because we're able to process all of these gatekeeping functions at the point of care digitally to the health plan from the physician or the provider level. Essentially referrals are processed in real time through a click of a button on an iPad and an exam room. We are one of the few carriers that allow that freedom within the Baylor Scott and White network and really, I'm sorry, within the state right now. So it's one of the biggest selling points of our plan is once you're in the Baylor network bubble, you saw how large it is. We are the largest in the state. You can now operate freely, no matter whether you're on a PPO or an HMO with Scott and White Health Plan. That is the key. All right. 
What you see on, on the screen here is the integrated care model. It has a lot of good stair step ladder functions as to what creates the value in the mind of a patient and how it manages the patient outcomes. One of the biggest things, and not to steal this from Laura, but to steal this from Laura, is that the entire design of an integrated care model is to not is to make sure that the patient is not over doctored, not over prescribed, and thus not overcharged. So we're able to balance out our delivery of care according to the patient's need and the provider's need as well. And we're able to share this information direct with Department of Health and Human Services and regulatory bodies like CMS. If we come up with something that's innovative, they will adopt our policy and introduce it nationally. From a technological perspective, we have grown leaps and bounds on our application used for managing care. Essentially with Baylor Scott and White, once you're a patient of ours and a member of the Scott and White Health Plan, you have access to a, an application at the palm of your hand through your smartphone that allows you to manage every aspect of your care. From seeing what the follow-ups are from your doctor to what the follow-up costs are going to be based on your health plan, to navigating the specialties, to navigating across the network, it will actually show you more features and functions within your application than have ever been offered before. We are also setting trends nationally on this case. Um, as it stands, we're 4.8 stars out of five in 2021, and we have more than 100 times the current user list on our application than the next best hospital system. So we stand out in terms of how we collaborate on the evidence, how we share plan features, how we share navigation functions with our patients so that it's easy for that's the entire design we're doing. From a quality assurance perspective, when you call our doctors to schedule any kind of event, I'm sorry, if it's a, an evaluation, if it's an appointment, or if it's a diagnostic appointment, the average answer time is within 16 seconds. We usually fix or resolve whatever that member or client's issue is on the first call 97% of the time. All right, I'm going to skip this slide real quick and get to the offering services outside of face-to-face -face as well as with face-to-face. -face. This gives you an idea of all of the connection points facilitated by the MyBSW Health app on the bottom right hand side of your screen. You can connect via telehealth, you can get into your wellness programming. We talked about diabetes features before. They're going to connect through our wellness programs. Prescription services, you've had a change, you've had a change in circumstances or a change in cost. A lot of folks are on injections that are really high cost um, as of 2020. Prescription services will work to help manage and choose medications that better fit your budget, but also accomplish the goals of your healthcare pro provider and practitioner. From a navigation perspective, we can manage your care all the way through, or if you're autonomous, you can get on our website, pick your providers and navigate freely within our system as well. Behavioral health has been an increased focus over the past 10 years. We are starting to lead some of the, the way in mental health evaluations, treatments, and protocols. What we do different here at Scott and White Healthcare, or Scott and White Health Plan and Baylor Scott and White Health, we have a team of providers that will also work from a, a provider visit to house calls perspective for folks that are dealing with challenging situations and circumstances that may also involve limitations in coverage on mental health uh, related issues. Reach out to us. If our health plan doesn't have a way to get it covered, we have plenty of charity programs that we can tap into on the, on the system side, on the hospital side. And then lastly, our specialty programs, again, are setting trends when it comes to state run and federal health care standards. All right, suite of normal functions. We're running a little bit short on time, so I'm going to skip through some of these slides. Suite of normal functions available on the test. The quick highlight, you can find a provider, schedule appointments, manage your care, message your provider, access digital copies of your insurance ID card. You can view your test results. You can view your next and upcoming appointments. And with Scott and White Health Plan, you can review and pay bills. That is not a feature or function available for other folks um, that may be on our maybe seeing our hospital doctors or providers on a different health plan. So that's unique to us. Reordering and managing prescriptions at a BSWH pharmacy or our mail order pharmacies. You're going to hear later in the presentation, mail order is a great way to go and a very low cost alternative for folks. 
And then lastly, viewing claims and payments toward out-of-pocket maximums. It's going to keep you up to date on where you stand towards your maximum out-of-pocket, as well as what costs you're looking at or what bills may be outstanding. This way, a provider and a patient never get into a situation of collection calls around missed copayments, something that we can transmit and communicate you know, daily, weekly, monthly, however is needed through this, this, this device. Virtual care is something that we offer. We can touch on that a little bit later, but last slide to touch on, we are looking at consolidating networks across the state. Baylor Scott and White has acquired other organizations. First Care in 2019 was our most recent. And we're also in talks with other hospital systems across the state about potential purchase there. Expanded network partnerships are going to be key to our expansion into, let's call it filling out the Texas borders before we start to make ourselves um, a regional, a true regional plan and start to expand outside the state of Texas. Our integrated direct primary care model is something that's new to Medicare, but allowing us the ability to sell direct to groups. Example, American Airlines. We own the contract with AMR Corporate, over 55,000 employees in the state of Texas. And essentially what we did was we created their own doctor's unit. All employees under AMR can go see their own suite of doctors, own suite of specialists who have admitting privileges at local hospitals in their area that are owned by us access to technology, but what it does do is it creates a convenience factor around accessing your providers and it lowers the cost and coverage of care. Lastly, we will be rebranding this fall to better match our hospital system. We are known as Scott & White Health Plan today. We will be known as the Baylor Scott & White Health Plan tomorrow, and you're gonna see us begin to rebrand and co-brand with every provider-owned facility we have across the state. Think of Kaiser Permanente and the Select Healthcare Plan, Intermountain Healthcare and Rocky Mountain Healthcare. You're going to see a very similar thing take place in Texas. What does that mean for agents? This is the year that's going to kick the dust up in the market. The amount of marketing dollars being spent to create this rebrand as a, as a visible change to the market is going to create a lot of lead flow for agents this year. We're going to want to know what's the difference. Why are we, you know, why are we valuable and what does Baylor Scott and White offer that's different than any other health plan? Connect with us, we'll get you lined out on the messaging and then we'll continue to, to get you educated on how we're different than the, the rest of the markets. So that value statement is a winning one this fall. All right, that being said, I'm going to lead into Laura Cruz Smith and I'll introduce Laura real quick. She's our senior broker representative. She was promoted roughly two and a half years ago to this current role. She interfaces direct with our brokers and is responsible for a lot for our training, our incoming uh, onboarding for new agents, as well as getting you plugged into sales opportunities that we offer. She also comes with 10 years worth of experience as an internal sales rep with our organization. Very familiar with Scott and White when we were on the grassroots level, all the way to the growth of where we're at now, and comes to us with one of the top closing ratios in the business. That, that said, I'm going to transition it over to Laura to talk through our Medicare product. Laura, you can let me know when you need me to change slides as well. Um, thank you so much, Chris and John. I appreciate this opportunity to share my passion for the, the Senior Care Advantage plan. Um, I pitched this product for a long time to our target market, um, and I know how happy my clients were with our product long term. Um, you know, as an external broker, you get lifetime renewals on this product. Um, you get a chance to earn a bonus with our health risk assessment, being able to set that up successfully for us and complete that call for us gets us the data we need to continuously improve our plans. Um, so, geez, I wish I had all those clients back and I wish I was an external broker getting all that commission because um, I might be retiring next year. Just kidding. Um, but the BSW Senior Care Advantage Plan has a strong foothold in Central Texas, and we are building that out in North Texas. We touched on so many slides that I wanted to scream at Chris and say, one, stop stealing my thunder, but two, we need to stop here and focus because it's important. 
the open access um, network makes your life and your client's life very easy. The, the clear Baylor, Scott & White focus of our network also makes your life and your client's life really easy. Um, when people are managing their parents' care, their own care, they're experiencing cognitive decline, and life is just super busy. I don't care if you have a photographic memory and you, you have the healthiest brain on the planet. It's hard to keep up with everything we're keeping up with today. And knowing that the card in your pocket matches the name on the building and the badge on the lapel of the doctor that I'm going to see and the app on my phone that I can communicate to my doctors with, schedule appointments with, see when my next appointment is, because I don't care if I just scheduled it, I'm going to forget what I just committed to. <laughs> I can call the doctor from there. I can see all my, my last visits and, and tests. I can see them right there in the palm of my hand. Um, I can I can schedule e-visits there for no cost. So when we look at the co-pays um, and the cost for this plan, consider the fact that you can replace some in-person visits with very convenient e-visits that are no cost. Um, gosh, there's so many things I want to touch on, but that app is going to create the tie to our North Texas clientele, the way we've connected to our Central Texas clientele. Now, our Central Te Texas folks have known us for a long time. They had our old HMO. They had babies on those plans for like $5, and they had a super narrow network and were super happy and committed to our doctors and our healthcare system, and they trusted it. And your clients can trust um, the Baylor Scott & White system too. We do contract with additional pro providers outside of the Baylor Scott & White family, but for the most part, your clients need to be comfortable with the Baylor Scott and White family and they will get very comfortable there, let me tell you. Um, that app is fantastic. The, um, the lifetime renewal compensation for our agents um, also feels really comfortable for folks as well. And it allows you to grow a book of business and, and keep it long-term. It allows you to, to finally be that client that is maintaining and not always pushing to grow. Um, grow, 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 right? You want to get to that place where you're maintaining. Um, so we're looking to help you do that. And we know you can do that with uh, the BSW Senior Care Advantage plan in your portfolio. Um, if you're sick, injured, or ill, where do you want to get care? If they say Baylor Scott and White, please pull, pull me out of your bag and pitch this product top to bottom. You'd be surprised how easy it is to close. I closed with confidence because pitching this every day, you realize this product satisfies their needs, it's comfortable, and it's something they can depend on. That's not up to me to decide, that's up to the client to decide. Once I removed my own buying habits from the conversation, I became a top salesperson. I got out of my own way and I pitched this product and the history of this company in Central Texas paved the way for me to have one easy sell after another. The name of this product means security. It means your friends are taking care of you. It means manageable costs, transparency between your doctors and specialists, and that I'm going to get quality care. And I can trust this product from one year to the next to have competitive rates and steady rates too. Okay, Chris, you can, you can move it forward for me, please. There you go. So in North Texas, um, we are focusing our HMO product on these four counties. The population is significant in these counties. This population um, enjoys the benefits of our facilities. And this is where you will find um, a lot of our patients that want to talk about our plan. As we merge the two brands together, um, you are going to get a lot of free advertising for this product in your portfolio, and you need to be ready for it, folks. Pitch it top down, and you'll be successful with me. Chris, next slide, please. I think you'll be excited about our changes coming up this next year, um, and so you'll definitely want to catch our road shows coming up in August to find out what's new, what Laura exci is excited about, 
and um, how we're going to get you to the point of maintaining a huge book of business so you can enjoy life and the decision you made to, to sell Medicare insurance. Um, here's our zero premium HMO plan. Um, the things I wanna highlight will be of course primary care visits, but telehealth services for primary care, specialty care and psychiatry. This is gonna save your clients time and money and can be managed from that very handy app on their phone. Um, and y'all, it's made my life very, very easy managing three kids, two dogs and a husband <laughs> and a full-time uh, broker rep job. Um, being able to transition some of those visits to a telehealth visit has, ha I mean, I'm in, I've, I've fallen in love with it. If I don't have to go in for care and I could just consult with my doctor via my app, that's what I'm going to do every single time. Um, our um, outpatient surgery, Kobe, I'm going to skip on down here because, you know, most of most of our Medicare beneficiaries um, are using those upfront co-pays like primary care, specialty care, the telehealth and testing. Um, that's where your clients are mostly interested um, in spending their money on, on a regular basis. Those that's the crux of their care. Um, if they get good care there and they're able to to um, take advantage of an integrated care system that's going to help them be less doctored, less tested tested less um uh prescribed and less over um, not overcharged excuse me and be able to enjoy their life that's the product and the hospital system that they're going to be really happy with um we have testing copays from zero to 75 dollars um advanced imaging copays are 300 dollars and our inpatient hospitalization is 300 and $25 per day for days one through five. Now remember, when they're setting up their specialty visits, they don't require a referral. They can navigate within our, um, our provider network free. They don't need a referral. It, they can call up the specialist and schedule an appointment. That flexibility makes their life very, very easy. Um, outpatient surgery is a $350 copay. Ambulatory surgical center visits are 275. And let me tell you, um, that benefit um, is, is not utilized by the total market very much. So, you know, when you're comparing um, plans for your clients, please note ambulatory surgical centers are, are very much underutilized. Don't let the co-pays in that particular category fool you. We'll talk more about that in our road shows. Ambulance is going to be, um, oh, there you go. <laughs> Ambulance is going to be a $265 copay. Emergency room is $90 anywhere in the United States. So if you're if you're new to the industry, HMO products can work for all types of clients because when they're traveling, they get, can get to any emergency room for a $90 copay and any urgent care facility for a $50 copay. Durable medical equipment is 20%. Go ahead, Chris. Um, you know, always educate your clients about a late enrollment penalty. If you decide to enroll them in a medical only plan, um, typically we see veterans looking for um, our additional benefits, um, go with the medical only plan or um, uh, Medicare beneficiaries who have a pretty significant late enrollment penalty and they're choosing to forego the Part D program because they're avoiding that late enrollment penalty. You need to advise all of your clients about that particular rule and how it affects them in a unique way. All right, and here is the prescription drug plan that Chris was talking about. Um, for a long time, we, may, we waited for mail order to finally become competitive with the $0 copay. And we have tier one and tier two drugs at a $0 copay for our mail order. Um, how convenient is that? Um, we also have um, tier three drugs at a $47 30-day supply and a $94 90-day uh, supply, tier four drugs at a $100 copay or 290-day supply and specialty drugs at 27%. Um, and of course, you're always looking for those clients that get additional as assistance due to lower income. Please make sure you know how to direct them towards those types of benefits because it can really reduce their, 
their drug costs to catastrophic coverage levels. Um, and that's always um, convenient for a client struggling with medication costs. Um, we do have a, a diabetic program that we are we are now participating in, and there's no deductible for our clients for select insulins, okay? Your out-of-pocket cost for select incident, insulins, excuse me, will be $35 during the deductible and initial coverage phase. And we also offer additional gap coverage for select insulins. Um, during that gap coverage, your out-of-pocket costs will also be $35. So we're really trying to support um, our most vulnerable clients, especially those diabetics. Thank you, Chris. All right, and our bonus benefits are really convenient. You know, it's this is the, the slide that's gonna help your Medigap clients really consider making the jump. You know, as those Medigap prices increase, you're really gonna want to educate all of your clients as they age in about MAPD. Um, we're seeing more and more age in select MAPDs over um, supplements because they're comfortable with the network and they really like those bonus benefits. Here we have routine vision exams through Superior Vision, um, an eyewear allowance of $125. Um, I know when I go to the to the eye doctor and get my $450 glasses, that discount would really be nice. <laughs> routine hearing exams every year, hearing aid allowance of $1,000 every three years. You know, that doesn't pay for hearing aids the entire way, but it sure does help um, when you consider the cost of hearing aids these days. You have a free gym membership through Silver and Fit. I really encourage you to visit the Silver and Fit website. It's very easy to navigate and you can see what gyms are available in your area that you're targeting um, and maybe even partner with them to, to help their members um, find a way to lower the cost of their gym membership. Um, we have dental coverage through, um, through MetLife. The network that we use is MetLife PDP Plus. That is the network you would select to find the participating dentist in your area. We also have an over-the-counter allowance, which um, people are really loving. It's a $30 quarterly allowance, use it or lose it. Um, and it seems to really be gaining traction. It also allows you a touch point quarterly with your clients to remind them, one, you are the agent of record, and two, that you offer an extra value to your relationship. And you're going to make sure that they know they need to use their over-the-counter over allowance before it renews um, at the end of each quarter. We have in-home meals, 14 meals per hospital discharge sent to the home. And it's limited to three discharges per year. But when somebody's transitioning home and they may not, not have the wonderful families that you and I have there to support them and feed them, this could sure make their life a whole lot easier. We also have a really generous transportation benefit with a 50 mile um, per direction um, mileage allowance. So you have up to 24 one-way trips per year, 12 round trips. Um, so that's a pretty generous transportation allowance there. And our in-home support services. If you have the prescription drug plan with our HMO product, you have up to three, four hour shifts as you're transitioning home from a hospitalization. Boy, couldn't that help somebody who is struggling to get back on their feet? I think your clients would really appreciate that benefit. And we're so happy to continuously improve those bonus benefits. So again, visit us at our roadshow this year and make sure you learn um, about the changes coming up. They're pretty exciting. Um, here's some details about our over-the-counter allowance. We have lots of great participating retailers listed there. And again, this is an additional touch point during the year to reach out to your clients, um, check on them, make sure they know how to use that over-the-counter benefits. And, you know, we find from our agent population who uses this as a touch point, they oftentimes get referrals from, from their clients who have talked about their wonderful agent and the product that they put them in and the over-the-counter benefit. And they're going to start referring friends and family to you because they're, they're remembering you, you're reaching out to them, and they feel very appreciated and supported.
One quick specific call out I wanted to bring to the slide <clears throat> is that for 2022, we are increasing this amount, but most importantly, an insurance plan is only as good as the providers that accept it. We are the only carrier in the state of Texas and really nationally that is accepted by HEB inside of our over-the-counter program. So to give anybody the idea, if you're not familiar with Texas and its relationship with HEB, um, think of it like Louisiana is, is married to Walmart. It's definitely a partnership and, and, and let's call it a, a co coexistence there that Scott and White is uniquely um, embedded with. One of the reasons why we did this is we saw the amount of patients that are filling prescriptions through HEB as one of our larger pharmacies. And we wanted to make sure that we work with our community partners as well, going back to delivery of healthcare and making it easier for the member. All right. That's awesome, Chris. And I think the theme of this whole presentation is network is everything. Um, and it, it, it's the same story with our over-the-counter benefit. Um, by all means, on our health plan side, the network is everything. Um, and, you know, my clientele didn't choose a plan based on bonus benefits. They didn't. Um, they felt comfortable with our provider network. They felt comfortable with our service level. They knew somebody was going to pick up the phone and take care of them. That's what was most important to them. But don't ever forget to mention these bonus benefits. We're finding that our membership is not well educated on the bonus benefits. And so we need to start talking about all these extra add-ins. Um, that don't make the initial purchase decision for the client. Um, you know, if they're being sold on bonus benefits, they're probably not going to stick very long as a client. They, they really need to be comfortable with the um, provider network, um, but definitely mention them so they can really feel tied to their health insurance plan and get the most out of it. Um, on this slide here, we're kind of describing the in-home meal benefit and how we would coordinate that care. Um, upon discharge, the file will be transmitted by the health plan to the care center and the care center will process the file and add the me member to the delivery schedule and then your client will be contacted. The delivery will be coordinated and delivered to their home. How wonderful is that? That's a pretty seamless process and not one that the client has to think about very much. That's what I love about this particular benefit. In contrast with the over-the-counter, you definitely need to teach them how to use it and get them excited about it um, because they, they will need to um, make that purchase themselves. The In-home meal, it's kind of coordinated for them. So exciting. Okay, Chris, thanks. Move it forward. So our North Texas PPO service area is a little bigger than our HMO. And you will definitely want to visit our roadshow this year to find out the new and exciting things about this PPO plan. I think you're gonna be very excited about it. Um, you can see we added two um, counties here, um, but again, we're really wanting to focus around the I-35 corridor where we have um, a really strong foothold and presence. Um, but we know Tarrant County is calling for us. They really want, um, a really strong product out there, and I think you're going to be happy at our road show, guys. All right, so here is our current PPO plan. Stay tuned for, and you'll find out in our road show what will change with this plan, and it is exciting. But currently, our monthly premium is $37. Um, our annual out of pocket is $6,900. Zero copay for primary care. And for telehealth, specialty visits are $40. Um, please keep in mind, you can replace a lot of that, that cost for specialty care with telehealth. Um, our testing is going to be $0 to $75 copays. Advanced imaging is a $300 copay. Inpatient hospitalizations are $325 per day for days one through six, and no charge um, through the remainder of the stay up to a total of 90 days. Outpatient surgery is a $350 copay and skilled nursing facility is no charge for the first 20 days and days 21 through 100, $176 per day. All right, and um, ambulance services cost $325. Emergency care is a $90 copay. Urgent care is a $50 copay and durable medical equipment is a 20% coinsurance. Out of network, we have um, a cost sharing of 
35%, an annual deductible of $750, and an out-of-pocket maximum of $10,000. All right, and our prescription drug benefit, again, highlights the mail order. Um, you have a $0 copay for tiers one and tier two, um, and pretty fair copays for tier three, four, and five, and we are looking to assist those diabetics, again, with a $35 copay for select insulins, and you can contact me for a list of those select insulins. All right, our bonus benefits are a little bit different on our PPO plan. Um, we have the routine vision exams and eyewear. We have the hearing aid exam and the hearing aid allowance along with the dental benefit up to $2,000 per year. Again, we use the MetLife PDP Plus provider and um, they can purchase this dental benefit. Whereas it's included in the HMO plan for no additional charge, they would have to purchase it for $20 additional premium on the PPO plan. We also have the gym membership with Silver and Fit, which had um, gone away for our North, North Texas clients for a bit, um, but it's back and it's a really nice way to get our membership um, the, social, the socialization they need. Now, if they do not like to go into a gym or they don't have the mobility to go into a gym safely, the Silver and Fit program offers them, them in-home fitness kits that they can select themselves. They get two per year. Um, and they have everything from chair-based exercises all the way up to more advanced um, programs. But even deep breathing can really um, increase our wellness, our overall wellness. So definitely in, um, recommend the Silver and Fit home benefit um, to your clients at the very least. If they're not going to use the gym membership, they need to be using that in-home in fitness kit. And that's another touch point for you to make sure they are getting the most out of their coverage. All right, so here's a comparison slide between the HMO and the PPO plan. Um, you know, I think people in the HMO counties will primarily select the HMO um, unless they are moving in from an area like California, um, Houston, all the big integrated care areas. Is it Michigan as well? And they are wanting the Baylor Scott and White plan. Um, others who might go with the PPO plan might have that one doctor out of network that they've already established care with. Um, but for the most part, people are going to go with our HMO plan unless they're in those uh, two extra counties. Um, but here you can see the difference of the two programs are exactly the same. It just costs $20 on the PPO plan currently. And this plan covers two, I'm sorry, two cleanings per year, a set of x-rays every three years. It covers 50% of the cost of fillings, extractions, and dentures um, up to $2,000. We use the MetLife PDP Plus network. It is not a standalone dental plan. And please visit MetLife.com and select Find a Dentist. And make sure you select that PDP Plus network to look up local dentists in your area to see if you can work with this plan. Um, the, the MetLife product, the, the dental benefit, was a great way for me to work with my clients and show my value. Um, and I'm always here to help y'all learn how to do that. Um, and it gave me another provider to refer um, business to me. So I really like that MetLife dental program for marketing purposes as well. Dental coverage is optional on the PPO plan, costing an additional $20 per month, and these optional dental programs cannot be purchased separately. One of the unique aspects of this dental plan as well is its portability, as well as its freedom with network choices. In today's world of, let's call it the wild, wild west when it comes to dental networks, what we find is that you'll have a lot of folks, depending on the city you're selling in, for example, Plano Frisco, that may be seeing dentists that are not a part of other networks, private dentists that may charge a little bit of a higher cost. What we do allow for is as long as that provider accepts the normal and customary reimbursement, the member is only responsible for the additional charges over and above. What we found in those communications with their existing providers is even though they wanna stay out of network, they'll typically accept the customary rates. 
so it doesn't charge a, a member any additional costs for the services that they're seeing or receiving from dentist. But what it will do is allow for more freedom in the network access point that Laura touched on earlier. That's right. The PDP Plus network works as a PPO plan with in and out of network benefits. Thank you for that, Chris. All right, so I think we all know the benefits of a gym membership. How wonderful is it for our seniors and our Medicare beneficiaries to enjoy exercise equipment, pools and saunas, classes, um, and you know the in-home benefits. The Silver and Fit program is something you definitely need to highlight on each of your sales pitches. Um, people love to know they have a gym membership. They may not ever use it, but they love knowing they have it. Hmm. All right, so enrollment is, is very, very easy on our website. Um, if you've ever visited swhp.org, I hope you'll visit it now. Um, our our um, agents, our contracted agents, often report to us that enrollment on our website is one of the easiest programs they've ever, ever used. It's very simplified. Um, and, you know, once you're contracted, I can walk you through the whole process. It takes just a few minutes and it's really fun and easy to use. Um, you need to make sure your clients understand the consequence of selecting a plan without prescription drug benefits and make sure you're educating them about any late enrollment penalty and also advising them on any low income subsidy they, they could be eligible for and guiding them in the right direction. We do want to call right. attention to that. Thank you, Laura, and sorry to interrupt. Um, the reason that you're seeing this slide in here twice is because we had a large number of agents last year and the year before that selected the health plan only um, option for their membership and did not realize that their members needed prescription drug coverage until one or two months into the coverage year. So we, we want to call that out, highlight it so that we can also um, be aware of it when you're going through an online application at Scott and White's website or using one of the third-party platforms like Sunfire Matrix, Connecture, or CSG. That's correct. And we've done things on our website and enrollment form to help um, agents visibly see the difference of the plan with and without drug benefits to try to prevent those errors. And so far, we've been successful with the changes we've made. Um, but thank you for highlighting that, Chris. And while we have already run over time, I'm hoping that John will, you know, give me a little grace on this, but I know I'm sharing my screen in full screen, but I'm going to take us on a quick detour real fast to highlight exactly what you're saying and how easy this is to, um, to be a part of. You know, tell you the truth, I'm not going to do that because I don't know how to get out of this. <laughs> Go ahead, Laura. <laughs> Sorry. So through the enrollment, uh, the online enrollment uh, pages, you'll eventually get to this confirmation page where you can print the application you're submitting um, or download it. Regardless, that confirmation number is important. Our processing is pretty seamless, but you guys know technology. You just never know these days. So that confirmation number will help us um, find that enrollment file um, before it becomes a membership file. Usually um, enrollments process within three business dates and we have an ID number for you. Um, at least Chris and I and agent support can see the, the new member ID for you. Um, but that confirmation number is always important and you can, you can print that, save that, print the application from this particular page of the enrollment form. So um, y'all are licensed insurance agents. I sure hope y'all know what enrollment periods are. <laughs> but you want to catch people turning 65, definitely, and market to those folks. And again, don't shy away from pitching an MAPD to those turning, turning 65 clients that are especially the ones that are already Baylor, Scott, and White patients. Um, you'd be really surprised. And, you know, don't forget about the 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 um, trial period that they get as a um, supplemental client, you know, they can try an MAPD for a year and return back to their, their Medigap coverage um, <clears throat> with guaranteed issue. So that allows some of your Medigap clients that are testing the waters to test the waters safely. 
our annual certification is coming up. Um, it's going to be coming up next week, I believe it'll be released, um, our product certification. And uh, we've got an agent broker tab on our website, swhp.org, where you can complete your onboarding and also get access to product training through that process. So make sure you visit our website, swhp.org, click on the agent broker tab on the navy blue bar close to the top of the screen. Um, and then on the next page, you'll see an onboarding button, really simplified process. And our product training is, is, um, is going to be easy to get through. And then we can really have fun with product training that you specifically need. And that's where I'll step in and spend some time with you. And we are accepting AHIP this year. Um, I know Tahu was offering um, some type of a training. We are we are only accepting AHIP this year, and next year we hope to accept um, the the new program available through Tahu. It is not available this year. Only AHIP is what we will accept. It's for that's due to transmitting purposes. We're able to accept AHIP, and um, that's what's easiest and best for the company this year. So. Our marketing materials are excellent and easy to use. Um, you can close business with this um, and be very happy with the results. But as you can see, um, the exterior is, is really nice and easy. And if you just flip through one page at a time, you'll be compliant and ready to close that business. Yeah, inside we have all of our contact information and we highlight that wonderful app. Um, the app has made my life super easy. It makes a Baylor Scott and White client stick and feel at home. Um, I can pay my medical bills from there. I can see how much, how close to my out of pocket maximum I am through the app. It is absolutely fantastic. I can renew prescriptions there. Um, I know which prescriptions I can't renew and I need to have a visit for because of my app. It is absolutely fantastic when my doctor says, when was your last important visit? You know, an annual visit. Well, shoot, I've slept since, since yesterday. I don't know the answer to that. Guess what? I can pull it up in my app. And guess what? He's already pulled it up on his computer for me. So I didn't even have to worry about it. <laughs> but, the, but the guide is awesome. And it has everything you need in the enrollment kit. We also have fantastic brochures. I can close business with brochures, OK? I know it's not compliant. So I would have to then go to the enrollment kit. But folks, our, our quad bolts are so easy to sell from. They are visually easy to digest for your clients. Um, and that is the key to selling a lot of MAPD is making it easy for your client to understand. Um, our quad folds, I can't say enough about these brochures. They are easy to sell from. As you can see, the interior is is visually easy to digest. I'm going to repeat myself. Look at the colors. Look at the columns. You know exactly what you're looking at there. Um, super easy to review with the client. Um, and then from there, you know, we have, if you can keep going, Chris, por favor. We also have additional marketing materials. Um, Chris, I think you're going to really want to talk about this portion. You're so good at it. But we have fillable PDFs that you can really use to target certain populations. Timing is everything. And really, Chris, you should have a whole separate training on how you see agents using these flyers because it's absolutely genius the way you um, position each of these flyers. But they're all fantastic and simple. I think that's the most important thing is the simplicity of the communication and the call to action. But these would be available to you as a contracted agent. That's true. Thank you, Laura, for that intro. One quick thing that I want to touch on for the folks on the call is that part of what you get when working with us is that we have a unique background. Laura has represented from a carrier perspective for the past 12 years, and I was an agency owner of roughly 10 years ago. So I know your pain. I know the points that 
you are constantly overcoming are challenged with barriers to business or things that make sales operations not quite as smooth. So salespeople get pulled into the administration perspective more so than actually outselling. What we do unique here at Scott & White is a lot of us have the similar background. We're familiar with the challenges and we're also familiar with the levers that are needed to be able to pull, to be able to increase or decrease production. One of the things that we specialize in is figuring out tactical plans while also leveraging partnerships in the community. Again, I'm one of the largest not-for-profit healthcare systems in the state. We touch over 778 additional organizations out there like your food banks and various other charity programs that, that deliver already various th items to the community through community partnerships. What we'll show you how to do is to take very easy tools, very basic tools, and maximize those to be able to leverage partnerships. We're not out there hunting the one to two fish. What we're doing is we're trying to find new oceans to fish in. And we're going to partner our partnership agencies and agents with those opportunities. Ways that we leverage that partnership are going to be through unique tools like this. Now, again, a lot of carriers offer these types of platforms and resources. What we are looking to do is adjust the message according to our local demographic and what types of issues and concerns they are either expressing or dealing with at the time. So we come in relevant, we come in in a way that's tactical, and we come in through other partnerships. It helps build the credibility in the mind of the consumer. All right, so real quick, um, we're getting close to the end. I wanted to get us to, this is the actual last slide, and um, let Laura kind of close us out here. Awesome. Um, so there is my email address, laura.cruzsmith at bswhealth.org. Um, there is my cell phone number. Call me or text me on that number anytime, even on the weekend. Um, I want to talk to you, answer all of your questions, and help you get contracted, okay? We have a great licensing team. Um, you can email them at swhplicensing at bswhealth.org, but please give me the opportunity to answer your questions first. Um, a lot of times we can bypass that communication unless you have a complex licensing question and I can get you to the website to start the contracting process. Our onboarding portal is pretty great and simple and we can get through it quickly. Um, but I want to make sure you feel comfortable with our product. I know you will be, and I would love to talk to you. Our agent support team is getting better and better every single day. We had worked with a very slim team this last AEP, and we have added some fantastic quality people to this team. We are so very proud of them, and we can't wait to see what their future holds for them with this company because they are absolutely quality people. Um, always feel free to CC me on any communication with them and I can help with any barriers in that communication and help move the conversation forward as quickly as possible. But I'm very confident that team can ha handle your questions for you. Um, and the other two emails, I don't expect that y'all will really need for a while. I need to get y'all contracted and answer any contracting questions or um, benefit questions you have if you are hesitant at the moment. Let me answer your questions for you, please. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. Really appreciate your um, your time. And then really thank you to everybody on the call for jumping on today. And thank you again for allowing us to run a few minutes over. Uh, our partners here with John, within John Dubas, Michelle Hawkins, and the Premier Organization, we're looking to grow with these partners. Uh, I know that Premier has a lot of aggressive uh, marketing and opportunities for agents that are out there. We hope to be a product offering and again, an additional opportunity for a lot of you on the call. Uh, please feel free to reach out to Laura or myself. Uh, my contact information is available through John and we will work to get you licensed um, up to speed on our products. Then I wanted to make a quick couple of announcements. As of last year during COVID, we did actually lose some of our staff members not to death, but due to reduction in force that hit a lot of hospital systems across the country. Not sure if people are familiar, but during the middle of a pandemic, we had more than 85 hospitals closed down in the first three months. The last time we have seen that many hospitals closed down nationally was 100 years ago. So the reality is, is that hospitals are 
they went underwent a little bit of a challenge last year and as a result staff is being replaced right now on the health plan and administrative side i will have two new broker reps starting with us on august 2nd of this year and one of them comes with more than 35 years worth of sales experience the other is has at least 10 years worth of sales experience and championing products that are um, new to market or cutting edge let's just call it startups is what she was really focused on so for folks that may be getting started in the business jackie kim is definitely going to be a great point of contact and for all of us uh tim roth and laura cruz smith are gonna they're gonna have most information related to our sales and our product um, distribution channels so please feel free to reach out to us but you will see that territory representative space grow between this presentation and our road shows that begin August 16th. Thank you, John, for your time. Surely, I'm gonna pull it back really quickly and finish with just a few slides. One, I also wanna make folks aware of the fact that our contracting department in Norfolk is very proficient in getting you up and running with a number of carriers, but have a great relationship with Baylor Scott and White. And we are doing some different things to help you with not only prospecting, but keeping your book of business through an upcoming series with low income subsidies and other entitlement programs that can help you um, in that area. So appreciate you, Laura and Chris. Thank you for the presentation. There aren't any questions that are popping up in the chat box here. So we'll finish out with just a few slides on why you wanna do this through Premier. We do have an electronic contracting uh, process that can help you solidify and, and put together all your information, including your E&O and questions to different programs and contract electronically. There are programs we can do this much more quickly for certain programs, including Baylor, Scott & White, by using their own electronic systems, but we wanted you to be aware of this function and that errors and admissions coverage. The folks often shop that and sometimes they look at price and not what they're getting or how do different things work. This is actually a program that covers you regardless of whom you're contracting through for whatever insurance product. And let's face it, e &O is required by just about every insurance program out there. Um, this gives you the ability to take care of yourself, protect your financials um, across the board, and you own that policy. So you have it for whomever you contract with as an independent agent. We do also offer discounted uh, continuing education programs through our relationship with uh, web CE in order to protect your licensing and you can add to your own benefit package by a modified guarantee issued DI policy that you share the commission with so you're adding to your own benefit structure and paying yourself to do so much as where today's presentation has been recorded past presentations have been as well carrier presentations such as today product type presentations but also marketing programs, including how do you maximize your benefit through retail, uh, through working with centers of influence in the community, such as faith-based organizations or churches, things of that nature, how to grow your lead pool as well. The electronic systems have really come into focus, particularly over the last year and a half with the challenges that we've had. It's so nice to hear Baylor, Scott, and White speak of their road shows. Hey, face to face stuff again, human contact. That's wonderful. But we also need systems to help us stay compliant and efficient. Our Medicare Center program is an all in one access to three different quoting engines. It gives you a complimentary CRM to manage and track your clients. It's a way to make certain that you fulfill those compliance regulations. So, soliciting and storing the texts or the email uh, scope of appointments. A great way to do that and keep you in play. Keep in mind, as Chris referenced briefly in one of his slides up front, it does contain the programs that are powered by Connector, Sunfire, and CSG. And that includes a program that helps you cross sell with Medicare Advantage programs. If you get into a household and they're happy with their choice, um, but they have hospital copays, it's a great way to fill in the blank, so to speak, with a hospital indemnity program. Great way to cross sell, great way to put yourself in the, the door. And as you'll find with a, a link that I'll send you as part of the follow up, it's also a way for you to access other products outside the Medicare arena. 
many programs do offer additional incentives to uh, the commission that you have for what you're selling. But in the Medicare space, Medicare and Advan Medicare Advantage and PDP programs, max comps set by the government, folks. It's not for MedSupps or some of the other ancillary programs. We want to make certain that you have access to all that information so you can maximize the value of your services. And that does help you qualify for premier incentive programs. Last year, that was going to be a cruise. It turned into some cash. So a great way to make certain you get everything that you need. We do have different lead programs to get you in front of folks. Custom calling list, butted up against do not call. Obviously, you can't do that for MA or PDP. You can for MedSup. Um, and you can for ancillary programs. We see an increasing number of agents that are pursuing dental business at 63 and a half, 64, because there's a price increase at 65 with many of those programs. It's a great way to grow your own T65 program. And as I mentioned during the recordings, we have those community-based programs, including retail, faith-based provider, other centers of influence in the community to do some things face-to-face -face or virtually. Presentations are set for you. We have a number of them that are laid out for you that can explain a number of different topics and make you the subject matter expert in your chosen market. Many of the carriers do generate prospects as well throughout the year. This you see much more frequently with MA and PDP carriers, but it's one of those symbiotic relationships. Pro quid quo, pro, have you supported the carrier? Are they gonna support you back? It's a great way to, to get some additional ways of visiting with folks as are our internet lead and mail support programs. And part of the, what you'll see as part of the follow-up is a piece on how you can maximize your referrals because those are some of the best leads that you have. Mail program, two different programs. Deeply discounts the cost of direct mail. And as uh, Mark Twain said, uh, the reports of my demise are greatly exaggerated. Direct mail still works. The challenge is doing it consistently. And with production, you can drive down the cost and do so. It's like an exercise program. You do it once, you feel a pain, you don't see a lot of the benefits. You do it consistently, that's where you see the real gains. And we have a program for the health programs and for final expense, two different programs. So you can qualify for two different mailing programs each month, should you choose to do so. We do so through preferred lead vendors because hey, we're gonna vet what they send out. We're gonna protect you compliance wise in order to make certain that we can maximize the return on that investment the direction that you have. Each of these vendors have CRMs, so as soon as a lead comes back, you know about it. So it's really hot and you can direct it that way. Choose your demographics. Uh, some of these folks have some great suggestions on how to pursue a chosen market at different times of the year. We also have two different programs that can have you accessing just the returns. Obviously, these leads, you don't get them the same day. They may be a day or two old, but they've never been touched by anybody else. And it's a way for you to fill in some holes in your schedule at a very reasonable price. Keep in mind that cost can vary by area and time of year because of response rates and everything else that goes into it. Um, but that's there for you as well. Uh, the internet leads are through a Facebook program, one set up for final expense and one for Medicare leads. Very reasonable cost, and this is part of our microwave society where, hey, you're getting your immediate response here, um, and you can follow through with that. The referral program I mentioned, it's not just for getting additional people to talk to as you sell. It's also to engage your Bob, your book of business. So it's a great way for you to go back and mine that uh, prospect pool that, you, hey, you have it in Medicare Center. You've got all this drug analysis in there. You've got the scope of appointments in there if you sold them or not. That's a legal compliance uh, requirement. So we want to make certain that we look at all avenues of getting you in front of folks who can buy from you. All that said and done, we work with great carriers like Baylor, Scott & White, other programs that we have in play to make certain that we can help you grow your business. If you know of agents we can help, refer them to us. We're going to be thankful for that and make certain that you know you're appreciated in that regard. And we're asking for that. All that said and done, I think you've seen today illustrated by the presentation that Baylor Scott and White can be a key component within your personal marketing plan. As John Wayne said, slap some bacon in that biscuit and saddle up, let's ride because we're burning daylight. Well, hey, this is a program you can sell now. SEPs, 
I usually have slides in here. I cut them for uh, the length of the presentation. And as much as I like to talk, we see how good that's done. But it's something you can sell year round. And we want to help you do that through the different programs that we have in place to help in that regard. So all that said and done, watch for the follow-up that will be sent with a link to the presentation and a PDF of the slide deck itself. You will also have an opportunity to see the recording, not just through that link that's emailed to you, but it's posted on our website at premiersmi.com. It's also posted on our uh, YouTube channel as well. I'm going to check really quickly for any questions that I might have missed. Nope, we're doing pretty good. So at this point in time, all that's left is to thank you. I appreciate you coming on the, talk, the call today and investing the time, your most valuable resource with us today. I also appreciate the relationships that we may have had in the past and the business that we've done together. For those of you that are considering working with us, I thank you for that consideration and look forward to that opportunity. Watch for the information we'll send. You do have the opportunity to speak with your premier marketer by dialing into that number. If you don't have one yet, we'll set one up with you. So you have a subject matter expert to help you. So all that said and done, until we have that opportunity to speak with you here again, hey, I wish you good selling. Thanks so much, and we'll talk soon.